So I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about what I feel is one of the more lesser known and underappreciated of the bench chisels, and that is the lowly 1 8 inch. So this is a 1 8 inch bench chisel from Narex. Um, years ago, I picked up an 8 inch bench chisel because I had some uh, needs for it, and I've used it ever since. I don't use it every day, but when I need it, I really need it. So when we first all started selling Narex, I don't know, eight years ago maybe, I approached them and said, <clears throat> why don't you offer an eighth inch, the smallest, because the smallest size you have is a quarter inch. And they said, well, it's a little hard to make, and you know, the machines have a hard time gripping the small size and blah, blah, blah. But eventually they came around and they started offering the eighth inch, and it's been one of our best selling sizes ever since. So let me show you a couple of uses for the eighth inch uh, that I found in the shop. I'm sure there's more, but um, so let's start out. So here is a, a mortise that I cut on the drill press. I just drilled some holes and then I clean out, I have to clean out the waste between. You know, I, I kind of clean up the sidewalls with the wider chisel, but then I need to clean out the junk in there. And you know, I can't fit a quarter inch in there. It's just too wide. So I have to use my eighth inch and it works fantastic. I just clean out all the, all the junk inside there between, between uh, my, um, yeah, so I, uh, see, I gotta clean it out. So it gets in there nice and it fits. Remember a quarter inch chisel Will not fit in a quarter inch mortise, it's just, it'll just wedge. So, so another use is uh, sometimes when I do a groove, I'll run two passes with the table saw, and sometimes there's this little fuzz in the bottom, a little this little hair, and there's no way that my eighth inch my, or my quarter inch gets in there. It gets in there, but it kind of it just wedges. It's not fun. So, take my little eighth inch chisel here, and I can just clean up those little hairs. Works really great. I can just kind of scrape those out. So that's another use for my eighth inch chisel. Finally, I. Don't do it often, but sometimes I really, I'll make a mortise by hand. Like this little mortise here I'm doing. Uh, I don't, if you don't, have you ever done a mortise by hand, you don't realize how fast they are, but this is essentially a mortise chisel. It's got square sides, pretty thick. It can work just, just fine like a mortise chisel. Um, so I'll take it and I'll just put it in the end there. I'll take little bites at a time. But I, so I've already started this. And then you just go down and you just clean out your waste. Look at that, it works great. So you can do little mortises. Another thing about this chisel that's awesome is that it takes no time at all to set up. I mean, lapping the back takes like nine seconds because there's hardly any material to remove. And then putting on a secondary bevel takes like five seconds because it's so narrow. So you can keep these maintained and sharp with a very little effort. So we got these bench chisels. Uh, we're having a little bit of a sale. We got a little bit of overstock on these. So uh, go check it out at taytools.com.